Well, hey, welcome to Perk Stream for February 16, 2022. Do you play the way you practice? Hey, thanks for joining me here today. I hope you have a good cup of something that you can drink while we talk together. Um, I was talking with a soccer coach and he was telling me how he knew which players were going to give the best effort come game day by the way they practiced. There were those who practiced hard, they built skills, they, they worked at, at being with their teammates and then there were those who, you know, they might give 50% or they, they seemed like they were a little t timid or tentative. And so he thought he'd ask one of these players one time, says, you know, if you if you gave a little bit more effort, you could really be a good soccer player. And the, this one player just told the, told him back, it's like, no, I'm saving it for the game, coach. It's like she hadn't clued in that the way she practiced would actually be the way she played. So when she did get playing time, she played just the way she practiced. And I think that that's true for us in a lot of different areas of life. And where it comes to prayer is, we will pray the way we pray most of the time. That's probably a little trite, but let me put it in this way. Prayers of Thanksgiving are important for us to pray. Can we pray prayers of Thanksgiving when the chips are down if we haven't prayed prayers of Thanksgiving when things are good? Paul says this, Rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God concerning you. Now we have those words about this continual motion of prayer, the always, the continually, in all circumstances. And we've talked about, well, what does it mean and how do we really do that? What I want us to pull back for a moment and realize is we do that in all circumstances, good, bad, or ugly. Well, if we're not doing it when it's good, we're not going to do it when it's bad or ugly. We're not going to give thanks when things are hard if we aren't learning to give thanks when things are good. And, and sure, our Thanksgiving can be very real when things are good because we're glad things are the way they are. But when we pray, we might look back into a whole circumstance of life and go, you know, there are times when it was hard and I thank God for bringing me through. I thank God for showing me his faithfulness when I was at my worst. I thank God for being there for me when I thought I was abandoned. I thank God for being for me when I felt like everybody was against me. Those are the kind of Thanksgiving prayers that we can pray and we learn to pray and, and we practice praying those prayers. We, we remember, we go back and remember all of God's faithfulness when things were good and when things were hard. So that the next time things are hard, we can pray thanksgiving in all circumstances. This is where we build the foundation for prayer when times are tough, and that is when things are good. We practice praying. And then when the chips are down, we can, in fact, pray thanksgiving. God, I'm thankful that you're here. Uh, the pressure was on Jesus. Jesus was, was praying uh, he was standing, and, or if you will, yeah, standing at Lazarus's tomb. He hadn't come to heal him. Lazarus died. He's in the tomb. Everybody's crying. And he says, move the, the stone away. And everybody goes, what's that going to do? And Jesus stands before that tomb, that very occupied tomb. And he starts off by saying this, Father, I'm thankful that you have heard me. Well, we haven't heard Jesus pray, but Jesus has probably been silently communicating with his Father, but he has also shown over his lifetime that he is a man of prayer, that he would go off early in the morning and pray, and that he would take time to pray in the midst of, of his day. So here he is saying, Father, I'm thankful that you have heard me. And I know that you always hear me, but I'm saying this for the benefit of everybody here so they know you sent me. So Jesus started the simplest Thanksgiving prayer ever to bring Lazarus back to life. So this is the encouragement. Pray when it is good. Pray as you would want to pray when it is hard. Pray when times are good to learn to build the foundation for praying 
when the chips are down. When you give, when you pray, give thanks. So that praying thanksgiving is part of your prayer language, no matter what the circumstances. Thank you.